are back with another picture from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game by concept design and publishing team Gun Media. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at this picture, like the other one, it's very dark. This one's talking about how you're going to have to loot around for items in order to escape the basement. And the visual design here is just great. You see like a little fog on the ground, spooky. The basement is a very nasty place before you start to make your way up and out of the house, say for example, if it's the family house. So you have the contrast there from darkness to daylight and it's a very vast contrast. Going into the picture, the first thing I noticed you guys on the top left, it looks like the icon for when you're talking in team speak, but now it is almost the same as the audio signals coming from the middle skill check icon so what does that mean now this is just a really wild guess you guys it's when you talk on your microphone this somehow that affects the noise you make in game as well i doubt they would punish the player like that especially if you're laughing and carrying on whatnot but at the same time if you did kind of make noise on your microphone it makes up for the whole thing because people really want proximity chat and it would kind of force the player to kind of be pushed down into the quiet, I don't want to make any noise mindset and mood of their survivor that they're playing. And it all kind of works together with each other. So even though it's team chat, uh, if you're working up this bar on your audio and it's affecting the audio you make in game somehow, and maybe it causes your character to make a noise or speak or whisper or something, I don't know, it activates something. I don't know, it's just a wild guess, but yeah, it could be a kind of a substitute for proximity chat in a way, but it's just a wild guess. Another guess is also that when you're going and rummaging through those tools, that it's making noise and sound, and that's what's also building up sound to where the family members could hear where you're at because you're rummaging and looting, right? So you're looting for stuff and it's kind of loud. Also, if you notice on the right, if you look at the heart, the heart is different from the heart in the last picture. This time it has a little bit of orange in it and it's tied into your stamina and your health. So it wouldn't be, I feel like the heart placement wouldn't be right there alongside your stamina and your health unless it didn't mean something. I wonder if it's like a substitute for the fear bar from Friday the 13th, depending on how scared your victim is, carries over to how quickly their stamina depletes and, and possibly something with their health as well. But uh, yeah, so we don't know what that's tied to, but it's definitely seeming like it's just tied into your stamina and your health in some way. Now we're looking at Sunny and those little bars down on the bottom next to Sunny's picture, I have no idea what those mean yet. Um, people have taken all kinds of wild guesses, but I don't think we're gonna figure out what those do and mean until we actually see a game being played, whatnot. Sunny is in the cold room, listed up at the top right, digging through through toolboxes and whatnot like this is what will get you a, like a screwdriver or something to assist you with escaping the basement. And that's pretty much it. Just some wild guesses tossed out there. What do you guys see? What do you know? Blow the picture up, make it brighter, see what you guys can see, and um, See you next time. Get ready to scare or be scared in Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game. See you guys later until the next pick pops up. Or video, for that matter. Have a good one. Bye-bye.